Zebra Mild Liner brush pens have new colors. Of course you want them, but the question is, do you need them? Let me show you these new colors compared to the old original colors so you can decide if these are right for you. If you're new here, I'm Sarah from Ensign Insights. The goal is to help you feel good about your lettering right where you are. I'm so glad you're here. These are the original colors, but then on Instagram, I got a message that there are new colors. These are the new colors. So now they have 25 colors instead of 15. They're dual ended, so they have the brush tip and the fine tip. All right, let's swatch them out. Oh yeah, and also I got these ones. So I bought these from Tokyo Pen Shop and to get free shipping, I had to add in some more. So these are the ones that I got. I'm gonna show you, I mean, have you seen these before? I never had, so let's see if they're any good. These are amazing brush pens. I love them so, so much. Okay, I love this gray. It's not a black, but it's a really nice dark gray. So totally worth it <laughs> just for this one. I'm really excited about these colors. I think they're gonna make a great addition to what I already have. From this original set, the ones that I always use are these ones. I like to have just a set of rainbow colors that I'm always using and I know uh, that they always go together. Let's see, it's this one. So these are the seven that I always use. And so I'm really excited to see if any of these new ones will replace these or just be a nice addition because these are really nice colors. Okay, with these original ones, I can definitely tell that they're not quite as firm and bouncy as my new ones. So that, I guess, would answer the question that some people have about how fast they will fray. These ones are not quite as nice as these ones, but they're still working for me. So these are the ones that I use all the time. And if I were to add more, I really like this deep blue and this teal color. And this is just a nice regular blue that I didn't have originally. I think there's like this really lighter blue. This one's kind of a light pink. The pink originally, this one is a really fluorescent pink and I don't love it. Let me go through these ones that I don't use very often. So here's all of them. And you know, to be honest, I'm just happy to have all of them. <laughs> I love these so much that I think you just need all the colors. And these new colors are honestly, a lot of them are better than some of the old colors. Let's see what I can do with just the new colors. Looking at these colors and looking at my original colors that I love, I think you could do so much with this. So if you don't have either kind right now, I would say get the two new sets. And I mean, that's enough right there. <laughs> These colors are so pretty together. I felt like in the original colors, there were kind of a lot that I didn't like, like the fluorescent ones, right? But honestly, in these ones, I don't think there's any that I'm not gonna use. Another test that I always do with my brush pens is lettering with them in my worksheets. These worksheets are from my book, Hand Lettering for Beginners. And I am so excited about these colors. I know I've said it a lot in this video, but they're just really good. So if you have some worksheets, this was a great way to test out your pens. If you don't have worksheets to trace, you can simply letter the alphabet. It's just helpful to have something that you're going to letter right away to get a feel for what your new brush pens are like. I've also seen these on Amazon for the full set. They don't have just the two by themselves, the two new ones yet. I'm sure it'll be coming sometime. Uh, but those ones were pretty expensive on Amazon. I have also seen them on jet pens and I think that was the least expensive of all the places that I've seen them so far. So I will leave links below for some of those different options for you. I hope this helped you decide if these are right for you. You can find these on Tokyo Pen Shop. I believe they ship internationally as well. They do have free shipping if you spend a certain amount. And I did do that because I bought these ones. So these are the Russian Petite. Let's swatch these out. So they have more colors than this. I just got the pastel colors. 
I do like these colors. I like the feel of the marker. It has a really nice bounce. It really reminded me of my Marvy Color In brush markers, so let's test with those. Oh. <laughs> Are these the same marker? Um. Yeah. These might be the same. It felt a little different though. Let's see. Yep, they're basically the same. So if you already have Marvy Color In, then you don't need to get these ones. If you don't have these Marvy Color In and you're going to buy the Zebra Mild Liner brush pens from Tokyo Pen Shop, I would definitely say you could try some Russian because then you can get free shipping and then you know why I love the Marvy Color In so much. This is really nice if you like this big chunky style with a really thick downstroke and a very thin upstroke. If you want to see my review on the original colors to see more about what these brush pens are actually like, or if you want to see a review on the Marvy Color In, I will leave the playlist for those reviews right here. I'll see you there.